Hello guys, welcome back to Potence War. And today we will take a look at all three boxes of the new Warlord Resident Plus American Civil War, both infantry and the artillery boxes. So now, after this intro, there will be all three boxes which will either release as you know standalone videos, but I decide to you know compile it together to this sort of manga unboxing, so you will see all three on one run. So, both artillery, firing infantry, advancing infantry, so... Let's go! So, if you buy the box, you will get free Warlord resin, which I reviewed previously on one of bull action videos, and in short, I think Warlord resin is, well, really great. <laughs> and so, back to this box, but... Uh, you will get three cannons, so that means guns, which is more than three. I will take a look at it in a moment. And three carriages and three set of four crewmen for each of the guns. And as you can see on the box, you will not get just three guns, but you will at total get, you know, Three and three, six, ten guns? Yeah, ten guns. So, twelve pounder for Union and Confederates, two pounder Howitzer, ten pounder Parrot Rifle, six pounder Napoleons, and three inch Ordens. So, you get lots of different, different cannons. And if you play some rules which, you know, differentiate between small and large caliber and between Howitzers and stuff like that, you can you can play it with, with these miniatures. Also, as the crew, we can see that they are you know classic firing pose, reloading pose, and <laughs> the last one. <laughs> and nice little addition is that you will get two of these snake rail fences from Sarissa inside, which is sort of nice addition. Do you will get? little bit of terrain and of course you will get even decals for for the caps so, they are the fences so, it's probably really easy to put together it's just base and you know fences itself you will snap, snap it together and voila it's done but it's a really nice addition. In this pack we will have the guns. So, carriages, wheels and guns themselves. Ah oh, yeah, you see there are even these bits like pockets. For it to be honest, uh, it's pretty cool, these, you know, plastic boxes for the stuff, so you don't get anything broken or stuff. So oh, here is the gun carriage. I will put cannon here. Voila. Be honest, if you're into it, probably with a little bit of magnetizing, you would be able to, you know, have the gun swappable. I'm not sure if it's, you know, everybody's fun part of the hobby <laughs> to magnetize everything Ooh. here I have some guns some buckets oh different ones interesting so let's take a look at the comparison of the gun carriage and to be honest on the first side it's not so big deal but the Warlord one seems a little bit smaller than the one from the Prairie Miniatures. I'll compare the wheels. But, well, for example, wheels looks basically the same, so well, they are really the same size. So it looks like that, you know, you are being able to use them together in even I would say same battery because size difference is 
not so big. And there will be crews, probably. Mm. Here are the decals for the cabs. Well, they are not the sharpest decals I ever saw, but I think they are pretty decent and no issue with them. Interesting to see that there is 2020 on the copyright, but whatever. So, improvements. Reloading set. Well, as you can see, the details are really sharp. No issue here from my side. Nice details. Really, really nice figures. And so not just figures, but the scoops also. It's really, really price, pretty set. Ah. Again, there is the firing gun. Interesting, we have here the one miniature with holding ammunition and then we, there we can compare it with the per one well I would say the high of the features is basically same the warlord one has probably a bigger head so he's more like a heroic scale while Perry is more like you know true scale Again, from you know, say gaming distance, you will probably notice anything. So, I think even the infantry figures have no issue to you know fit together with. The very plastic infantryman and the last set. Yeah, and you can see the details are really, really great. Nice sculpts, you know, nice, I would say, expressions of the miniatures. And they look like some sort of mini vignettes, which is, you know, great when you have these, you know, artillery crew stuff, which, after all, basically, it's some sort of small diorama. Inside the box you will get 24 miniatures in advancing or charging pose. So enough for basically filling one regiment in 28mm in most of the scales. Also you will not get just the marching soldiers but you will get the full command squad as you can see. They've bought flag bearers, drummer, buggler and one officer. Also, you will get two snake offenses from Sarissa and small, small decals for braiding on the capi cups. So you will get even sheets for the flags, one for Union, one for Confederacy. 
on the confederate side you have the assorted variations of standard of Army of Northern Virginia. You will also get a couple of you know, state flags for confederate states and the national flag of confederate states. And for whatever reason there is this standard of Robert E. Lee at Gettysburg. And for Union you will get interesting choice of flags. So you get, you get flags for Irish Brigade, Lafayette, Lafayette Guard, and a couple other of regiments, even United States Marine Corps one. You will also get bases. These are standard 4x4 bases, so, you know, staple if you want to base them uh, for anything other than some small skirmish, you can use these and put, you know, four figures here on this 4x4, which is sort of standard how to do it. And also, you will get even little pieces of trains, and these are two snake rail faces from Sarissa. So you will get the picture section here, but twice. And if you have all the free American Civil War boxes from Warlord, you will get sort of enough of snail fences to, you know, have some impact on your gaming board. So let's take a look at the miniatures. As you can see, many of them, probably all the standard troopers are, you know, body and you need to add an arm, which is sort of interesting. They are not one pieces, miniatures, but you need to actually glue them together. Again, like with the previous two, which I reviewed, you can see the details are really, really pretty great. Nice details, sharp. Basically, I have nothing to, you know, I have nothing bad to say about it because they look really pretty great. Standard beaters. Paris. Oh, interesting that the bugger has the bugger in one hand and he has his rifle slung over his chest. It's really interesting, interesting pose. Probably never seen it before. But to be honest, why not? And also there is the regimental commander. To me, he has some sort of Still wore Jackson likeness in his face, but that's probably just just coincidence. Both of the firing and advancing sets are intended to be both Confederate and Union. But as the firing line have the Union looking soldier or un uh, Union looking officer. This one has a confederate looking one with this braiding on his sleeves. But of course probably there were maybe some even federal uniform times with it. I'm not sure but this one has you know confederate vibes on him. Also it's sort of minor issue if you want to fill him as union because you will just you know, take a hobby knife and sub it off and you're free to go. So that was, I would say, command squad element. And let's take a look at, you know, rank and file troops. And nice poses, nice details. Looks really good. 
Oh, you have numbers on the basis, so probably the arms will be with. And also your numbers, so you know which arms goes to which which trooper. Your left arm is on the body, and right arm with the rifle is need to be glued on. Maybe it will fit on uh, just a snap fit, because there is a hole inside. But who knows? And uh, here, are, here are the rifles. And also, you know, flagpole. And these flag tops have just, I would say, classic, classic flagpole top and not the eagle one. So there is, you know, probability that originally the firing line was intended as Union and this was intended as Confederate Regiment, but... Nothing a hobby knife could, you know, solve. So I have arm 10. And now I need to find a body number 10 and we will see how they fit together. 7, yeah, 10. So I have guy number 10 and arm number 10. Ah, it's actually, it fits. So you could probably just snap fit them if you are, of course, not going to play with them much, but it's the hole and the little peg here, it's enough to stick in the figure, so when you apply glue here, it would probably really hold really, hold really well. And of course, mandatory compression with the very miniature ones. And probably no issue here. I wouldn't even say that the heads are bigger in this set than the Perry ones. Overall, I think that's that's really a nice match, and you can without any issue go and mix them together in one army. And to be honest, I would probably say now that with not not so sure with the firing line, but with the advancing box, I would say you can even fix them in the in the same squad. It really no issue here. And here is also the second half. Oh, a couple of them have backpacks. But blanket rolls, nice addition, nice details. I will not, you know, probably don't put them out now because it will be probably the same as the first half. And I think I showed you enough, and I don't want to bore you even more with showing, you know, the other half of the box, which will probably be the same in terms of quality and you know, talking points. So I will wrap up with, you know, the box cover art, which is again pretty nice. And pretty nice is even the, you know, the content of the box. I must say that the tails are sharp, they are almost no miscasts, they are look great, they are even compatible with the pre miniature one, so you can add them to your collection if you we're previously building the fort around the prairie plastics like I did. And to be honest, it's well really really nice nice kit and I could really recommend it to anyone. In this box you will get 24 miniatures being the firing line formation. So enough for building classic 24 man regiment which is well in most of rules. Also you will get full command squad with drummer Pogler, standards and officer, and also little nice bonus into snake rail faces from sorry sub precision which are inside. Let's take a look.
Oh, nice little bonus which was not mentioned on the box is that you will get two sheets for flux, one union, one confederate. On confederate sheet we have, well, classic army of northern Virginia style flag with many regimental one additions, like numbers and stuff. Also, you, there are some national flag for Confederacy, Virginia flag, Bonnie Blue flag. For whatever reason, there is Robert Ely headquarters flag. We're not sure why. And more Virginia, Virginia infantry flags for Americans. We have some interesting options like. Lafayette Gar Regimental Corps, Irish Brigade, New Jersey Main Heavy Ah Main Heavy Artillery Regiment. Interesting to add even artillery flags. From the flags we can see that there is it's probably some sort of early war accent here. And for whatever reason they are Three, three flags, no, or two flags for United States Marine Corps. Which, interesting choice. Of course, like in all these Warlord, Warlord sets for American Civil War, you will get two rail fences from Sarasota Precision. So this, this no piece which is photographed here, but you will get two of them. So if you buy the full box of the three of so each of the new releases you will get six of these fences, which is after all it's something. There are some bases. This seems like uh, yeah. classic four by four centimeter square. So enough for wall box and you will get some spares. There are some two by two and these long ones, which I'm not sure for what dimensions they are and for what they are intended, but they are here. Again, uh, as with all these big resin boxes, or even I think in the old metal boxes, from Valor you will get the inside small plastic box, so miniatures are here and you know that can be damaged violin transport which is nice little detail and I really love this small valor boxes Here are a couple of reloading miniatures. Again, the tiles are sharp. Lots of details. Probably will be really fun to paint. Because you can see that are no flashes basically and it does again really sharp which will be real joint to paint it is always good to have nice miniatures don't you think guys so these were reloading figures now here are some firing guns okay here it has his one with Sort of band rifle. But there is nothing which a couple of hot water can fix. But it looks like the this is just the only two of them from the box. And these are the same scalps. It seems so probably there is some sort of issue with the mold machine. Another one firing, loading. 
in really nice sharp details. So I will take this metal pair miniature one and let's see how they, you know, fit scale wires. I would say they did pretty, pretty well. For the rifle itself, it seems that the size is basically the same. Barry has probably a little smaller head, but well, no big deal, and I think you can clearly match them without any problem in the same army. And to be honest, I think you can even, you know, match them even in the same unit. Ah, I see. A couple of them have even backpacks. That's nice. Oh, nice. Nice figures. Nice detail, everything. I'm really pleased with them. One box, and let's take a look at the second one. With decals for the caps. Here we have standard bears. Second standard bear. Bugler. And sergeant oh, really pretty pretty miniatures and here is the drummer as you can see he even has the front braiding on his uniform Really, really nice sculpture. I'm, to be honest, I'm really pretty impressed. And there is flagpole. Also from resin, I'm not sure if it's a good idea, but here we are. And it can, don't want to focus, but you have the American Eagle here on the, on the top of the flagpole. Nice little detail, if you are playing Union. Okay, there is another flagpole in this other bag. There are a couple of, you know... Infantrymen, we are, which are cooking their muskets. And regimental commander. Both of these boxes are being sold as, you know, universal for both Union and Confederacy. Like was the first uh, American Civil War plastic box from Premier Natures, which has some issues like, you know, the assorted heads. And on this commander we can clearly see that he has his 
officer's epaulet in the Union style, but it's probably no issue if you are playing Confederacy on the you know early war with federal uniform styles. It could be issue if you are running for you know late war, but after all there will be still issue with the frock coats they are having, so I don't want to you know point out that the officer is clearly union design. And I have this feeling that on the advancing box there is the officer which has braiding on the on his sleeves, so probably he's intended as confederate ones, but it's nothing a hobby knife could you know solve in like twenty seconds. So this was my little unboxing of Warlord Gaze Infantry Regiment Firing Line. If you like the video, don't forget to press the like, and if you want to see review of four or unboxings for the other two boxes from Warlord in the range, well, check out my channel and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss them. Bye, guys.